Oh, how fun. Now it's time for WTF, What the Fela. Joining me now, Jimmy Fela, his stand-up special, They're Just Jokes, drops tomorrow on Fox Nation. Boom. Hey, Jimmy, I came back from vacation just for you because I know that people have been waiting for this for a while. It's the Steamboat yeah. Willie version mm -hmm. of Mickey Mouse becoming part of the public domain, which means that other versions uh, can be made without violating copyright. Watch. Mm. Jason meets Jason meets Steamboat Willie Slasher, Jimmy. <laughs> God, they're out of ideas in Hollywood. Yeah, are they ever? But you have to understand, this is a woke Disney world where this movie takes place. So Mickey is coming to kill you because you misgendered somebody. It's a whole different park now, Laura. Now they've got Peter Pan sexual and Snow White and the Seven Inches. It's a different Disney, okay? Whether you're watching it at the movies or you're going to the park. I mean, as a parent... Wasn't that the original Disney horror film, just the fact that they're charging you thirty-eight fifty for a hot pretzel? I'm still paying interest on an ice cream cone I bought in 2011. It's not pretty. Don't you love how on all the rascal scooters at Disney, they have all of the attachments so you can put Laura, the, you know, the 24-ounce Coca-Cola and then the, you know, the coated, most, fried. It's, mo there's like a little platform of food that you can Laura, choose from. Most of Disney nowadays is just fat people on scooters eating turkey legs. They just... I almost got hit by one. Yeah, no, it's, you don't even go on rides. You just dodge the fat people now. No, you're right about no. that. I've been there. It's scary. Now, Jimmy, the next clip is uh, from Fortune's Most Powerful Women Summit in October. Shocking. I wasn't there. But um, it's going viral now for some reason. Well, here's Lieutenant Colonel Bree Fram from the U.S. Space Force. Inclusion is a national security imperative. We fight today and we are going to fight in the future using brain power. And if that brain just happens to be in a trans body, you should want them all serving alongside me. Man. Jimmy, space can be anti-trans, you know that, right? <laughs> Listen, man, we, we laugh because it's a coping mechanism. But the way we're going, Laura, 20 years from now, we're going to have a military that's rolling onto the battlefield in solar-powered tanks with coexist bumper stickers on the back. And we're going to lose every war, and they're all going to come home with a trophy. Good gosh. This is terrifying. J Jimmy, when you see the coexist bumper stickers, and we see them a lot here in California, they're, they're usually... Uh, they're usually kind of driven and cars driven by women you know, of a certain age and usually, I don't know, long kind of frizzled <laughs> hair and usually a big floppy dog in the back. Yeah. But the, what do you, do you stay away from them or do you engage them? Because no, I, maybe they're fun to talk to. No, no, I dodge them. I just had this issue. I was up in Vermont and a cop stopped oh, that's me. that's the worst. Yeah, a cop stopped me for driving without a Subaru. It was a big deal. I was in big trouble, and I didn't have a hate has no home here sticker on the back. The irony of those people Oh, is, no, that's the other one. Yeah, hate the, has no home. I no, love the no. most hateful people ever put those bumper stickers on their car. <laughs> it's like, so we, love, we love migrants. We have, you know, the lawn sign yes. people. They put the, we love migrants. We love all languages. Yeah. We love trans. Blah, blah, blah. And then at the end, they, but, you know, we really don't like the rest of you come people in the country. <laughs> Anyone who disagrees die. with us, we hate. Oh, my God. The, <laughs> if you have a lawn sign, that's not the best. Jimmy, have you ever been skiing? Uh, yes. I've ever, I'd like to. You, are you a good skier? No, I, I'm better in the lodge. My lodge game is on point, but I'll ski. I'll hang. Yeah. Well, Sam. Sam says I'm not allowed to ski anymore because last time I was in this studio, uh -huh. I had my leg up with like packs of ice on it. It was like. <laughs> You know, an ice machine, you could hear it humming in the background. And I, I, so I decided, just to annoy my staff, I decided to no. go skiing again. You can see my kids and Kate. <laughs> Kate Lair's in the front, my old assistant. And uh -huh. We didn't have that ski instructor. He somehow barged into our photo. But, Jimmy, well, great to see you. <laughs> I and, love uh, it. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.